me? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, and how can I help you? Yeah. So just to let you know quickly about you know my whole career path, and I just need badly your help. Like, how can I? So first of all, so um, I started uh, with the BPO job because unfortunately I was trying you know something related to my own field, but it was not working out, and I was so you know overwhelmed by like what should I do. So I worked okay. for around seven years in a BPO, and then I. that then i decided to switch to it uh, because uh, incident management in it field it service providing it was so closer to my you know that time uh, current profile so i mm -hmm. took a switch on this particular domain just to get entered in it field it's been almost close to 4 years now i've been working as an incident management okay. so uh, i actually uh, developed my interest in devops and cloud technology i cleared the ccp certification which, which is like a foundation level one but you know sometimes when i sit to study i i you know took part of a boot camp being conducted by one of the uh, engineer working in kpmg everything i done but you know when i sit to study and to aim like what needs to be done what is next i just get lost because it there are too many things to study to you know there are so many topics to grasp i don't have any production level knowledge ai will have to make my profile to show that i am working somewhere close to sre profile or something like that because my profile will always be rejected if i apply for these positions right because i also have close to 10 years of working experience with absolutely zero uh, experience in sre or Dev devops domain this is like i am not aiming for these profile because these are in you know top consideration but my you know my interest is something i i can do it and i want to do it i have done engineering i want to justify my study because i do not want to be working with you know a 12 pass person while i am an engineer myself and doing the same kind of job and they are getting promoted on better level because they have their own things to but i just want to you know do something better that makes me safe in my mind that okay this is i am doing right yeah, cloud is something there are, yeah there, there are few things good um there are few things bad in in sort of your profile like good and bad both the things associated with you uh, you have 10 years of experience whether it was a bpo or uh, a sort of incident management or probably has improved your communication you are able to express yourself uh, better than a lot of other people you see a lot of videos on my channel and i talk yeah, to stranger i have while watching even i used to feel gosh if i had this level of knowledge i know i can communicate or i can express myself right. in a better way it's right. just that i need that one push or one chance in a right proper form so the bad part with over. your profile is that every day you are gaining experience you are now with your 10 at 10 years of experience it's very hard to justify uh, 10 years devops and cloud experience you would be an architect the by then so yeah. um, that 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 is a downside so think about it what story you can justify create a story in your mind that okay first 5 years i was into a, a sort of dev work or maybe a bpo job or whatever job you can say last 4 5 years i am into devops and cloud and i am doing these 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 value additions for my customer build a story in your mind what you want to convey because you don't have production uh, experience it will be struggle it's not going to be easy yeah as long as you have salary slips as long as you have good um uh, uh find like the paperwork sorted you can do it it shouldn't be a career gap altogether because then it's a bigger uh, problem you have a small issue so decide based on your skill set how many years of past devops in cloud you can justify and uh, um whoever you studied with talk to them understand um, at this level what kind of projects you should be comfortable with what sort of projects and uh, things you should be explaining in that um in in my case like my uh, 10 projects are dedicated for justifying 4 to 5 years of experience mm. 
you don't want to register or that's okay you can get the description of those projects from talkmate just just get an idea that yes these are the projects i should be building take help from chat gpt decode those projects and then build those projects then it is much easier for you to justify uh with real time projects you again it's going to be difficult it's not going to be Uh, just by watching these projects that you you become an expert so you you will have to build it yourself in your own accounts um uh, certification again you have to go um uh, up in the certification you have to go for associate and professional level certs you have to go terraform and kubernetes skills so you have to add those skills and then uh, you look at um, uh, justifying in the market oh. see what happens that when i there are so many youtube videos to refer like you know uh, for kubernetes for any tools i do study i do learn i understand and i you know just play around with it but after some time i you know when if if someone asks me question i just get numb some for a moment okay i'll have to have, think you haven't worked on that exactly it's, it's, that what you are saying what you are saying is you know um, at at my house there are all the ingredients to create an awesome recipe but yeah. what i see on youtube or what i see in the restaurant or what i see from a master chef is i am not able to cook that yeah you have all the ingredients uh. on youtube but you have to cut the noise you have to decide these 10 projects i am going to work on these three certifications i am going to focus on this is the level of skills i have to justify then you have to narrow down that i am going to focus only on these things in the mark if my aws is my target platform market will say go learn ai go learn azure go learn xyz if that is not the skill you want to justify in your interview or you not want to target you can skip that create a good road map for yourself next 3 months road map in terms of projects and certification stick to it only those things you are going to focus on rest is noise yeah that's true because you know when i open youtube let's say if i want to learn something out of kubernetes there are like hundreds of videos and i just boom. where what to do where should i with someone is offering 11 hours of uh, video i don't have 11 hours to put in or else for the rest of you know one month or two months i'll be just only learning kubernetes what benefit is it gonna give me of course the knowledge but you know i don't have two months of my target was to you know crack at least an sre job by end of may and i'm still like you know thinking what to do i feel so lost work. sometimes it for doesn't work few... like setting up a tar- time wise target the target should be skill wise target a plan wise a plan should be these skills should be on my resume these certifications should be on my resume then you start counting your days you are so early that are on saying that i want to crack by this time that's not how you are probably disrespecting the industry saying that oh i can crack it like <laughs> this into anyone can so crack you have it to, you have months. to be uh, sensible you have to be understanding and realistic then go about uh, it i don't want to dishearten you and, but uh, that's how it is you have to cut the noise you don't study from youtube youtube will only make you uh, go lost in the in the content that it has you have to create your own custom plan based on what you want to justify in your interviews what skills you want to build create a n- nice good plan discuss with your mentors discuss with people ask them to help you reduce the noise in that should i learn this how much time should i spend on linux how much time should i spend on networking how everybody on youtube will say networking is is, is crucial python is important shell scripting is important for devops and yeah, this will get you jobs and docker and kubernetes but they will not tell you how much should you spend yeah. on that mm. on an i i know like it, again it's very hard but like they can give a rough idea okay spend a day on linux spend a day on git there are courses uh, on just alone git alone for like hours and hours uh, there are shell scripting courses for hours and hours there are python courses yeah. so you have to you have to work with someone you have to get the right guidance as to 
where the noise in my plan get rid of that noise and just focus on that then if Sorry, you even if you go to youtube even if you go to youtube um uh, you know that this is the topic i am going to search and i will restrict it to that yeah, that is where youtube yeah. will really help you so uh, any any suggestion on the road map which i should be following like for next few months no i don't gain that level of confidence it it i won't suggest in this session there are road map videos generic videos on my channel you can watch that there are so many other people who have created build your custom build for yourself what you want to justify where you can easily uh, mm. track it not every okay. road map is meant for everyone yeah that's true that's true like the same road okay. map it is not meant for everyone it it's you need a bit of customizations a network mm. engineer will have a slightly different road map different certifications um uh, test automation engineer will have different and likewise so all right then right. good luck uh, thank you so much sir thank you no worries. and once again but i'm yeah, really I know sorry I, i can't answer all of the questions right away but uh build on your uh, this thing maybe book another session uh, it's not costing you anything but work on something bring something and then we can review it and help you out sure sure definitely sir thank you so much thank you no worries good luck yep thank you bye bye no